During Minecon Earth, you get to vote on Mob A, the monster of the ocean depths. The monster will attack you with its tongue-like tentacle to pull you down and drown you. It spawns in deep waters and uses its large mouth to propel itself forward. You should vote for this mob because the oceans currently don't have that much content and it would make it more exciting when traveling from island to island. During Mike on Earth, you get to vote for Mob B, the monster of the night skies. This manta ray-like monster is a flying creature that spawns at high altitudes. It is attracted to insomnia and will find players who haven't slept for many days. It will swoop down in groups and bite your flesh. You should vote for Mob B because there are currently no flying monsters in the overworld. During Mike on Earth, you get to vote for Mob C, the Great Hunger. This cute looking mob has a huge mouth and a great appetite for enchanting powers. It will open its huge jaw and sink into the ground where it camouflages itself. Any mobs or items that fall into its mouth will be consumed. You should vote on this mob because it has some interesting enchanting powers. Maybe you can even use these abilities to your own advantage to add or remove enchantments from your own items. During Mank on Earth, you get to vote for Mob D, the Hovering Inferno. This is a master blaze, which body parts look like shields that will be used to defend itself. The Hovering Inferno spawns with a group of blazes as a random encounter in the nether. It has a shockwave attack that is very dangerous and you will definitely need some flame protection to defeat this mob. You should vote for Mob D, because it would make the nether even more scary and exciting. I'd like to start off by apologizing for how inactive I've been and um, hopefully before December I'll be able to play Minecraft again. Um, but which mob would I choose? For me, I definitely have to go with B because I choose it over the others for one. For D, there are already too many mobs in the nether and most of them are already too overpowered. For C, uh, chances of running into that thing seems pretty rare. For A, I'm terrified of deep waters. And I don't like the sound of me drowning. So I choose B for one uh, because I get enough arrow practice and normally since there are no hostile mobs in the sky, what I do is spawn chickens then shoot them with arrows. So it would be interesting to see what an active moving hostile mob would do against you. Too bad they have to not sleep for a few days though. So that's a bummer. This video might be a bit late since Minecon is actually Minecon Earth is actually about two hours away from now. So if you do get this in time, make sure you go on the website and vote. If not, hopefully B would have already been chosen the new mod. Been chosen for the new mod. Uh, anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.